Hello, everybody, and welcome to Real Estate Daily. My name is Troy. I'm from the House Heroes, and I go over every day some of the, the most important news articles in the mortgage and real estate industry. And we have a couple of beauties today. We'll start with one of them. First article right here is from CNBC. And as we expected, it says mortgage rates to hit 3.85, hit 3 highest since October 2019. We thought this, uh, it's a, it, again, it comes a little bit faster than we expected. It's just approaching four. But I, I do expect them to flatten out right here, not to go up very much beyond this. I think if it touches four, it'll come down a little bit. There's a lot of demand that's out there. And still, you know, we have, uh, you know, the looming fed you know meeting in march and now with a few things happening with it we could see it go higher but i i still think that it's going to kind of loom right here a little bit but again we said this before all good news is bad news and all bad news is good news depending on what the fed how the fed looks at it and how they react to it back in march so that's one of them. Here's here's a couple of uh, here's the next story. Long term unemployment tumbles in January. Now this is tough because the as I reported yesterday, ADP said that the jobs went down, but you know then we turn around and we look at the jobs report today and it was really strong. Four hundred twenty thousand additional jobs were created in January and then they pumped up the the November and December numbers showing that they were off they were skewed and actually more people were employed during that time so the job market is is rather strong which does not again does not indicate good for the mortgage industry because that's where rates will go up now one thing that's concerning is you know a week ago we were thinking okay the Fed didn't raise rates this in January, because they were a little concerned about the job numbers, as Jerome Powell had said, that was one of the factors. But now we're looking at it and we're saying, well, jobs are stronger, and they were actually stronger in, in November and December than than was was the actual numbers. They weren't even real at that point. So with that being said, it looks like there's not a point or a quarter interest rate hike in March. Many people are now starting to predict in that growing that growing uh, consensus is that we're going to go half or 0.5% uh, up. That would then hurt the mortgage industry, you know, badly. I think that rates would then roll into the fours easily, and this would slow down the market. Now, if I look back at the next, you know, you know, another another one, you know, another article here in Redfin, it's kind of just coordinates with that. It says housing market update, expected price growth to slow, sales to stay flat, still stay flat. I don't know what that stay flat means because stay flat means that, you know, there's there's going to be, you know, less homes on the market. But we're going to see hopefully an influx of homes on the market. So I think they're going to go up. And it says as mortgage rates approach 4%. So I think that we're seeing a bunch of little things that are happening but it's all going to con come down to, to what the fed does in march if they go up it's for sure going up a quarter point but now there's a a growing you know growing concern that it's going up 0.5 and if it does we will see it so if how do i how do i actually look at as a buyer right now I, as a buyer i'm not sitting on the sidelines i'm getting in the game because if they're going to curb inflation and they're going to have a, you know four rate hikes this year which he, which chairman powell had said you know in December, well, this this now kind of confirms more and more that that actually was going to happen, and so I'm looking at interest rates going up, you know, another half a point from where they're at here, you know, and I need to get in so I can get my mortgage down, you know, my mortgage payments down. So just just another another confirmation of what's happening in the market, you know, as we as we approach uh, December or March the March meeting few other interesting article here is about Airbnb. Now, Airbnb had had done fairly well during COVID, but the growing concern here is that, you know, I, I rent it out for three days, and if it isn't clean properly, then I have COVID. And so, you know, it's still having this kind of, I don't know, wait and see kind of thing. Now, I'm impressed that Airbnb went through COVID and, and actually came out, you know, pretty strong. But I now today I think that there's 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 two sides of the there's two sides of the coin here. One is of course the COVID part where there's a certain 
part of the population that doesn't want to travel still. They're, they're still scared. And the other part says, I work from home. So if I go travel and I go on vacation, I can actually do the same things that I do at home. I can do on the road. And I want that kind of environment, like in a house environment, not in a hotel room. So that's where Airbnb has, has a, a foothold. So you have, you know, it's going back and forth. It's teetering what, uh, what's going to happen here. I personally feel that Airbnb is going to get stronger and more people that are working out of their homes are going to go on more vacations and work out of that vacation Airbnb property. So next article is one in four first time home buyers are using stimulus money for down payment. This is what Redfin says. Now, if we look back, if we received at the beginning of 2021, or somewhere uh, uh, in the first quarter, you received about a $2,400 payment, a check. So with that being said, they've taken that check or part of that check and they've utilized it towards their, their down payment or closing costs. So that's what we're seeing here. This isn't anything that we didn't expect. I mean, first time home buyers who are scraping to get in and they need every penny. Well, this was something that, that actually probably helped them through it. But it's very interesting that a quarter of the people use that kind of stimulus money for that. So that, that's actually a good thing. And the last article, last thing we go over is, you know, mortgage rates. Well, we just saw that the average mortgage rate was 3.85 across the United States. If we broke this down further, conventional, you know, the average conventional loan is 3.83 at this point, And the average FHA loan is 3.896, let's call it 3.90. So we are seeing it bump up. I still feel that we're, we're going to get stale here and kind of stay within a range. But, you know, with these numbers that came out today on the unemployment, we could see it just kind of keep rising because good news is bad news. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for joining us here on Real Estate Daily. And my name is Troy. If you, ha if you liked it, please hit the like button. If you want to see us stream every day, hit the subscribe button. We go live you know, anywhere around 3 p.m. PST. And if you have a, a comment or any kind of question, please go ahead and DM us or just put it in the, in the comment section and we're more than happy to answer your questions. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend. And guys, we will see you on Monday.